Right, can you say hello? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Hi guys, so another day, another very painful day, I'm struggling with it, just finding it really hard to cope right now, this massive bruise has come up like in the centre of my back, but I've not, I've not had an accident, I've not hit anything, I've not fallen, I just don't know what's triggering it to go. All I know is, is the fact that I, I have a lot of fat on me and for a bruise to have reached the surface and my spine to be hurting, there's got to be a lot of blood just swimming around in that area, which is obviously causing a lot of pain. But equally, it means I've done something and I'm not sure. I rang the doctors again today because the sputum I sent off last week and guess what? It's come back with my staph aureus again and I know it's having an effect on me which is why I sent another sample and it's just annoying me that again it's the same bug and I've not left the house and it's interfering with my lungs, my life, everything. It's making it hard to cough with my back. So I rang the doctor to make an appointment to see if I can get the antibugs for it. Um, but they just said that obviously by the time I rang, because by the time the sample results came back with what it's sensitive with to be treated with, it was like half past four. So they was only doing emergencies and obviously it's not an emergency. So I'm not going to state it is when it isn't. So I've got an appointment booked for Monday. So we're going to get... <coughs> We're going to get that sorted then for my lungs and I'm just going to be begging for more pain relief or something to be done because this is like a week now I've been stuck in bed, unable to do anything, unable to focus. I rang my sister yesterday, did a video call with her and by the end of it she was just like, <coughs> have you recently taken some meds? And I was like, I'm constantly taking meds at the minute and Although I was still having a cohesive conversation with her, she could tell that I was pretty much off my face on pain meds. Um, which isn't good that my family are noticing that I'm in that much pain to be needing that much meds. I just hope that I can last long enough tomorrow where, well, overnight tonight and tomorrow morning where I don't take any because it's Zach's birthday tomorrow. And I don't want him to see me like this. Um, I know it's only going to be via video call again. But if my sister can notice it, he'll notice it. Because he knows me. Um, and I'm already gutted that we can't see him on his birthday. We've missed so many birthdays and celebrations because of this shitty COVID. And this is why I'm just begging people to not go on holiday. Not, not wear their masks. Not ignore hand washing because the longer this keeps going on the longer that we're not going to be able to see family and friends and the longer it's just going to cause isolation and mental health problems and god knows what else so if you're watching this and you haven't been wearing a mask or washing your hands please i am begging you to please start doing it um but yeah, the pain is just horrific. Poor, poor so she's she's been working her ass off. Like at the end of the bed there was just no floor. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you with my back. But so far she's done all this with sorting it. The shelves are empty. Like it's literally just in bags or whatever. And she's got bags out there for which ones are going to charity, which ones are being chucked, 
which ones we're going to make into some other types of clothes. <sighs> it's just a little bit stressful and hard to cope with right now. But I did buy Soph another little surprise for doing amazing and being just an amazing person and looking after me on top of everything she always does. And it's this. So it's solar panelled. Obviously, it's meant to be outside, but it looks pretty there. Um, so yeah, solar panelled. It's got stars, the sun, the moon, and the big glass bit in the middle um, lights up and changes colour once it's charged by the sun. So I don't know if it will be charged enough to show you the beautiful colours. I'm not sure, but obviously if... Um, if it does, we'll show you. And I got a new grabber because the other night, as I told you, Dixie broke mine. And this one, I got it on Amazon. It's literally so easy to move. Like, you don't really have to put much effort into it. The ends is silicone-y, suction-y stuff. I don't even have anything that I can grab it with but two seconds so this is a little amazon box and it i'll tell you how much it weighs in a minute if it says on there God, can't really see it to be honest no i can't see over the pillow to get it Hmm. Can I? Can I? Oh. Can I get it? Or is there something else that I can actually? Is there something else around here? Nope, I can't get that because I can't see it. Oh, hang on. My Oromorph bottle. Because of the way it's suctioned and grabs things, I mean, this bottle's 300 mils. I know. Now, I know with the information it provided. It can hold up to five pounds. I don't know what 300 mils transfers over in, but it's more streamlined, so it can reach down things. It's 32 inches, which is longer than the average one, and it picks things up so much easier. So I'll put a link in the description. I have loved it since we've got it. Um, and seriously, I just, I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's the ramblings from me today. We're not really going to be doing anything else. We're on Butterfly Watch now because one Butterfly came out this morning. Literally, I was looking at them first thing this morning, nothing. I wake Sophie up five minutes later and one just comes out. She gets up to go for a wee. And like how the, like, the wings are curled in when they first come out, the chrysalis. Um, it was like that and it was just sat on top of it, so literally it just come out. I was so gutted I missed it. But we've had the camera on it 24-7, so hopefully we can witness it coming out, like the rest of them coming out, because that would be awesome, because we did last year and it was such an amazing experience. Um, so yeah, we're on Butterfly Watch now. We're really lucky because we only just moved them into the butterfly net last night. Um, so yeah, cutting it fine a little bit this year. But I'm just glad that they're starting to come out pretty soon. So, one down, nine to go. Let's see how long it takes for them to appear. But other than that, so it's just about to bring up some tea. And I'm just going to sit and play, pay some bills a minute whilst I'm functioning 
more than what I have been. But please send extra spoons, healing wishes, prayers, anything and everything that you believe in. Please just send it our way because this pain is just too much and I cannot cope with it. So thanks for coming on to stay with us and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. This is just after a couple of hours of sunlight on it. How gorgeous is this? I love that it changes colour. Yeah, it really adds to the effect. Beautiful. And, turn it on. Butterfly watch with the security cam.